The Crossroads Freedom Project has achieved one of its main goals, the removal of the name of Alfred Milner from one of the university's oldest halls of residence. Director of the project, Shabaka Kambon, says they are celebrating the victory that at last the name of the self-proclaimed racist is to be removed from the UE campus. You know, after 90 years of association with uh, what we call the father of apartheid in South Africa, uh, a self-professed uh, racist and imperialist, uh, Lord Viscount Alfred Milne at the University of the West Indies has finally cut ties and will now be looking to rename its oldest hall of residence, perhaps after one of uh, a Caribbean hero or heroine. And Mr. Cambon says they mobilized the students and talked with all stakeholders to work toward the name change. However, the report ordered by the Vice Chancellor of the University drove the final nail into the matter. What, ha what was revealed last week is that uh, the Vice Chancellor of the University of West Indies, Prof. Sir Hillary, Professor Sir Hilary Beckles, uh, had commissioned uh, Pro Vice Chancellor Alan Cobley. To, uh, to do a report on Milner. He, was, he is a professor of South African studies as well. Yeah, white yeah. Englishman, specialist in the area. And um, that report basically mirrors the, 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 the work that we put in. And Mr. Cambon says that our first Prime Minister, Dr. Eric Williams himself, wanted to change the name of the hall, but did not do so as he was negotiating for our independence at the time. The name change, however, is now in the works, and Mr. Cambon and his supporters are glad for this, even as they continue to work on their other projects, including removing statues of Christopher Columbus and changing the signage at Lopino, which they say invites visitors to pay homage to the slave owners.